Hello everyone and happy Monday. It is a new week and I got a Thrive Market package over the weekend and I wanted to show you guys what I ordered because there's a few things that are new to me that I haven't ordered before and I'm very excited about. And also if you missed it, I'm not engaged. <laughs> so if you guys want to see that video, by now it should be up. But yeah, I just wanted to show you guys a few things that I got from Thrive Market because they're pretty exciting so let's get to that all right so one of the first things here is this kettle and fire keto bone broth i have tried this brand before it's the one that i got on my previous thrive market but this is a tom yum chicken and they were just giving it as free um with your purchase or whatever so i'll have to try this out and report see if it's any good then i got this that it's supposed to be like a newer thing now to drink walnut milk. I've had almond milk, but I have not had walnut milk. But I do like walnuts sometimes. So I'm excited to try this. And it's supposed to be unsweetened. And look how many omega-3 it has. That's a ton of omega-3. And what I liked about it, let's see, where is it? Is that it's literally just water and walnuts. So... That's pretty exciting. I am excited to try this. It sits at its best served chilled, so I'm gonna put it in the fridge and probably add it to my coffee. I don't think I'll be drinking this on its own. I don't typically drink milk, but when I do, I like to drink just lactose-free milk. I don't usually drink nut milk or soy milk or anything like that whenever I wanna drink milk because I like the taste of milk, but I just can't have lactose. So usually we'll just do like the lactose-free. Anyways, so that's that. Then we got two of these almond flour milks and they're the thrive market brand and oh yeah and this one is the elm elmhurst elm, elmhurst i don't know whatever this is the almond i mean this is the thrive market brand and again look at the ingredients it doesn't have any emulsifiers gums and all that stuff so it's just water almonds sunflower lecithin and sea salt so it's super super clean this is the cleanest milk i've been able to find besides milk milk also is super clean you can find that one at whole foods but that one's a lot more expensive it's about the same size and it's i think like four dollars or something or maybe five this one's like 250 or something like that so we just bought the one from costco which has some gums in them but this one is a lot cleaner so after we finish the one from Costco, we'll probably just stick to this one because this one was still pretty cheap. But I have tried this one, which is their organic oat milk. And again, this one is super clean. Look at that. Just water and oats. Super, super clean. And I like that they're organic oats. It's so hard to find organic oat milk. I don't know why a lot of the oat milk is not organic and you want it to be organic. So then I got this. This is a Thrive Market organic arrowroot powder and it's supposed to thicken sauce and binds baked goods. And then where did I read it? Use You're supposed to use it in any recipe that calls for baking starch. So I liked this idea for making uh, things with almond, um, almond, what am I saying? almond flour because a lot of the time a lot of them almond flour calls for xanum gum and i've heard that that xanum gum is not that great for you so maybe this will be better and i noticed that a lot of other recipes have arrowroot powder with almond flour so maybe if you mix them then they'll be good then i repurchased this this is the purely elizabeth grain free pancake mix i really really like this one i haven't tried the other one yet that we bought i forget what flavor it was but this one we did like and we already ate so i just wanted to uh buy a new one and this is a new product that they just got the organic whole grain stuffing mix and i wanted to try this before thanksgiving just to see how good it's gonna be and i got a re not replacement a restock for francisco this is his favorite jam well he just likes strawberry jam but this is the healthiest we can find alongside with the uh, i always forget the brand whole foods carries it it's a uh, crawford i think crawford something like that but as you guys can see where are they 
see how the ingredients are super super clean so it sweetened with um, grape juice then I got two packs of the cinnamon sticks and these are just organic cinnamon sticks and I like having these for like when I make oatmeal in the morning I like throwing one of these in there just for flavor and I like the cinnamon benefits and every once in a while I'll throw it like in my coffee and then I restocked on this one the Thread Market organic coconut amino sauce this is the replacement for soy sauce and it's supposed to have no soy no soy so this is like a way cleaner healthier version of soy sauce and actually tastes just like soy sauce to me so it works perfectly fine then i got this this is one of the yummiest olives ever green olives the divina castel vetrano olives and we were out and we really really like olives with my sister so decided to get this one and all it has is just olives water salt and lactic acid for whatever but yeah so i don't know why these are not organic because they have another one that is organic so maybe these don't need to be organic i don't know I'm not sure about that and then from the same brand we got the pitted kalamata olives see these are organic i don't know why those weren't i don't know anyways and these are olives uh, red wine vinegar and sea salt again super clean and we also love love these olives um i don't know i don't know how to describe each one because they're very different from each other sir very different from each other but these are our favorite olives to have now we've tried so many different olives and these are just the our favorites the calamata olives and the castel vetrano and then my sister and francisco really like red bell peppers so I figure maybe these might be good for them to try. That's the same brand, but they're roasted uh, red bell peppers. And they're kind of like pickled, but I don't think it has any like... Yeah, see, it doesn't have any vinegar or anything like that. It's just... Excuse me, you're going to crush my food. Look at him! What are you doing in there? Thank you. But I don't know. I just think this might be good for like just a side, like a little kind of like how you usually will eat regular peppers or jalapenos or whatever. Just like a little addition to your meal. Um, I think I read online that people use it. Oh, see, it says right here. It says meaty and sweet layer into lasagna or pair with goat cheese. Oh, that's very specific. But I was thinking of maybe like in a sandwich or like on the side. I don't know. We'll see, but it looks like there are like a few peppers in there. They're pretty big peppers, but we'll see. Bought two of these. This is the brand Explore Cuisine Organic Black Bean Spaghetti. My sister tried the other day this black bean. Um, oh, I forgot what it is. It's like a Korean uh, noodle mixture, and I believe these are the noodles that they use. I could be wrong, but this brand has really, really good noodles and i couldn't find them in the store what the heck is the ingredients other oh, than this so it's just organic black bean flour black soybeans and that's it so i couldn't find this brand i think you can find these sometimes at like your walmart but my walmart didn't have it um they do have i think this brand but not the specific one like the black bean spaghetti so i just got it at their market since they had it and then got these two this is one of my favorite cookies. This is the Simple Mills Crunchy Almond Flour Double Chocolate Cookies. And they're so, so good. But they're actually not that bad for you. Look at those ingredients. That's crazy. See how it has arrowroot right there? And it's paired with... Where is it? Uh, what flour does it have? Mm -mm -mm. See, almonds and flax seeds. So I think... The arrowroot might be a good mixture with almond flour, but I might need tapioca starch. I don't know. I still need to do a little more research, but it seems like that's like your binder, the arrowroot. I don't know. But anyways, um, yeah, these are really, really yummy. You can pretty much find them anywhere that Simple Mills is sold. And I got these for Francisco. They're the same brand, but they're the almond flour cookie peanut butter, and he loves peanut butter. And then this i'm very excited about look how many bags we got so these have been out of stock forever they're the thrive market avocado oil potato chips but they're the sea salt and vinegar and they're kettle cooked and 
Look at the ingredients. It is so clean. Potatoes, avocado oil, sea salt, and vinegar seasoning. I love these. And last time I only got two because I wanted to try them. But I cannot find anywhere in stores chips that are avocado oil potato chips. But that are sea salt. I can find... Uh, we were able to find barbecue. And we were able to find just regular salt. But sea salt and vinegar, I can't find anywhere. So I ended up buying six bags because they came back in stock and then got francisco his favorite which is the smoky barbecue avocado oil potato chips and i got him four packs but this is the thing that i'm most excited about about this bag because yeah they've been out of stock forever and they're my favorite potato chip and i like salt potato chips but my favorite favorite is vinegar sea salt chips that's my thrive market haul quite a lot of things probably not gonna place an order for a bit just because i don't really need anything right now um i love buying from thrive market they always have really nice really cool things that um are discounted if you have a membership so yeah i really like thrive market but i'm gonna go ahead and put these things away and maybe have francisco try the peanut butter cookies already look at this in oh, weird wow. shape it's like domed looks like a yeah it's a saucer it's a flying saucer <laughs> oh and they come even in a different package than the other ones the chocolate are just loose they smell like peanut butter but not very much though so. well, yeah just a little bit you're not really in frame <laughs> he I don't know. They don't really taste like peanut butter. Ah, really? It has a very slight peanut butter taste, and then it tastes like the chewy. Yeah, um, it's supposed to be soft, I think. What is it? Chips away? Is that what those are? Is it soft? Yeah, soft. That's the baked. same. Yeah, it has the same texture. That was very little peanut butter, though. Really? That's lame. I'm gonna call it peanut butter, but I love peanut butter. Try it. Maybe it's just my palate because I enjoy peanut butter so much. So, no. So I expect to have a lot more peanut butter. Yeah, they're peanut buttery, but yeah, they're not that peanut buttery. But you can add peanut butter and make a peanut butter sandwich out of them. Yep. The only times that they'll cuddle is when it's cold. The only time. Hello, everyone, and happy Thursday. We just got back from Costco, and they had actually a lot, a lot of cute clothes. We hadn't been to Costco in maybe a month or so to actually look at the clothes. So I was pretty surprised with the things that we found. So let me show you guys what they are. Just in case you guys are looking for something similar. I don't know, but I just thought I would share. All right, so the first item that I have here from Costco is this hoodie. And it's just your simple everyday kind of hoodie. I got it in size medium. It does not have any front pockets, which is kind of a bummer, but I mean... I don't really mind it. And what I really liked about it was that it had these cream colored, um, what are they called? Uh, strings. This is the brand Buffalo. Buffalo had a lot of cute clothes at Costco. I don't, I think it's a new brand. I've never seen it before. So ended up picking this up and it's on the thinner side. Like it's not super thick, but I feel like it would look cute just like with leggings or jeans and then like a denim jacket over it. And then got this set here, which is, I believe it's uh, a pajama set because it came with this here, which says, let's sleep, sleep in. But I decided to get it just to wear it separately. So I tried these on and they're kind of like a jogger style. So they taper down, which I really, really like. I don't like straight cut pants. And I'm probably going to end up using the pants as like sweats. And then the shirt, I'll just use it just to like lounge around. This is what the shirt looks like. So it's pretty loose and then it has like these strings in the front that you can tighten up. And I got the set in a size medium. So this is the brand right here, three dots, two piece knit velour set with eye mask. So it doesn't really say that it's like pajamas. So I guess it's up to you however you want to wear them. And they had a few different colors i wanted the one that was like a pinkish like a it looked like peachy pants 
and then the top was like a cream color oh that one was so cute but they didn't have it in medium so i might check my other costco that i have nearby and see if they have it but this is like a really soft material and then i got these two shirts which are again from that same brand the buffalo brand and i got this one in size small which is kind of funny because if it's perfect um it's a little loose still but if it's really nice and then i like that the like the sleeves are kind of like the uh, waffle material and then the rest it's more it's kind of like a heavier material so it kind of falls really nicely and you can tuck it in, wear it with leggings, jeans, whatever you desire. And then from the same brand, I got this one, which is like an olive green. And this one was in size extra small. But what's funny is that this one was actually a little bigger than the small. Good thing I kind of measured them. I didn't go with my size. Typically, I use a size medium. But Costco sometimes has large sized clothes. So I usually just try to put it a bit against me and kind of eyeball it. Most of the time I get it right. Sometimes I get it wrong. I have to return it. But anyways, this one also has that waffle kind of sleeve. And then it also falls really pretty. Um, see how it kind of falls on her? It's really pretty. It's kind of like a loose fit. So um, I really like these two. Because I'm trying to get some long sleeves that are more like loungy. But that are so cute. Because I have a lot of long sleeves from last year. But they're just your regular cotton v-neck. And they're not very cute. Alright, and today being Thursday... I have to clean. It's about like 3.30, so I don't know what happened to the day. So I'm going to get as far as I can and then finish tomorrow morning. And today's also laundry day, so <sighs> that's that. I feel like the days go by so fast and I have to just keep cleaning and cleaning and cleaning and cooking and cleaning and cooking. Hello, everyone, and happy Friday. <clears throat> it is almost 1 o'clock, and I just got home from doing laundry. I typically do laundry on thursday nights but i do it on nights because my sister usually comes with me but she decided that she was just gonna do it on uh saturday morning so i decided just to go today instead because i just wasn't feeling it yesterday so now i still have to put all the clothes away and all that i just got home we folded it while we were there but i got home and made us some lunch and i'm about halfway done but i wanted to show you guys what it is i'll show you guys francisco because his looks still nice he hasn't eaten yet and it's a super quick lunch that I tried the other day, which I've seen on Pinterest like a thousand times, but I never actually tried it. And I tried it, and Francisco liked it, and I liked it. So we're probably going to put that on the rotation of lunch ideas because it's very easy. It's pretty nutritious. The only bad thing is the bread because it's a sandwich, but um, overall it's a pretty healthy um lunch so let me show you guys what it is this is my current situation like i said i'm almost halfway done but this is what it looked like before i started eating it so all it is is just hard boiled eggs chopped up and i add some salt and a little bit of mayonnaise and then avocado on the top and bottom and then that's it super easy and then we're having them with chips and what I use for boiling is this little machine that I'll show you guys in a little bit if I remember. Well, let me show you right now. <laughs> so I use this machine for making my boiled eggs. It's so easy and convenient. It makes six eggs and it's the Dash brand. I think this was like $15 or $20. So you can make six eggs at a time. And then you just line them up in here. There's a little cover. And then you start it here. And then with the, when the water evaporates, it has like a little measuring cup this one right here so when the water evaporates that's when your eggs are done so you can do hard boiled medium or soft the soft didn't work out very well so i would put less water but yeah it's super convenient then it comes with like a little omelet or poached egg little compartment so it makes it super super easy to make lunches and then happy saturday it is i think it is almost 10 no it's almost 11 which is all francisco's fault because he decided to sleep in like a monster and we're barely gonna have breakfast so i guess it's kind of like our lunch all right so this is what we're having i just made chorizos con papa which is just chorizo and potatoes 
I fried it and then I just put an egg on top and I just kind of let it cook just sitting there like a um, sunny side up with a tortilla that's the siete chickpea tortillas and then a coffee my water I already had my vitamins and now I'm just gonna enjoy some delicious uh, brunch Happy Sunday, everyone. We just got home from church. Uh, we did the drive-in church. Um, now, we're just going to have like a little quick brunch kind of thing because we're supposed to meet with um, Francisco's parents later on for like a late lunch, early dinner, I guess, like we always do. And we're hungry, though, because we didn't eat breakfast, so I picked up some bagels and donuts, and I'll show you guys what it looks like right now. But um, should I curl my hair with the wand? And I really like how it looks like second day of hair i feel like it looks really pretty and then that yeah and that volume whatever spray i feel like it adds actually a lot of volume to my hair and since it's november 1st i can use new things now so i used the um, natasha denona glam palette on my eyes and i feel like it came out so pretty you can barely see the sparkle in here because it's kind of dark but i really like how it came out and i just did like concealer um, I used the Charlotte Tilbury, the mini little bronze duo. I love how it turned out. Again, you can't see it because it's kind of dark, but yeah. So I just did quick face and makeup because we'll probably have to use masks later on again. And I don't like wearing a lot of makeup when I'm wearing masks. So, um, what else? I think that's it. But I want to show you guys what the bagel looks like because it looks really yummy. This is the bagel here. Uh, it is a jalapeno bagel with... Mm, eggs cheese and bacon so we're gonna share half and half and then i got francisco a maple donut and then myself a blueberry donut are you excited yeah donuts are really good actually it's like super soft is it mm -hmm. hmm. hello everyone and happy monday i forgot to close out the vlog yesterday but, um, yeah, just wanted to come on here and say that this vlog that you're watching will be actually, this will be the last vlog until December. I decided just to take November off just because I, I mean, although I haven't been posting a lot of vlogs, I have still been trying to vlog and, you know, it gets a little overwhelming, especially when I'm not posting them because then I have a whole bunch of footage and... You know, I have to edit it and I don't know what to show you guys anymore. Anyways, <sighs> I'm out of breath. Um, but anyways, I've decided just to take November off and not vlog, not do anything. Um, I'll probably still post videos, maybe like beauty related empties, things. I don't know. Things like that. We'll see what we post about. I haven't decided yet, but I'm definitely not going to vlog for November. But I'll be back on November. No, I'll be back December 1st for Vlogmas. I am so excited for vlogmas this year i don't know why i just love december i love the holidays i love christmas so i don't know vlogmas i did vlogmas for the first time last year and i loved doing it so i'm excited to do it this year and hopefully this year for vlogmas i'll have a vlogging camera we'll see i'm trying to get one for december just to have because right now i just use my phone which works great but i know that it could look better so um, yeah, so I'm excited to, you know, not vlog for a little bit and then come back in December. Let me know in the comments below if there's any videos you guys would like to see in December, any recipes you guys would like me to try. I don't know. We'll see because there's going to be a lot of videos coming out in December, so we'll have a lot of time. And let me know if there's any beauty video related that you'd like to see in November. That way I can, uh, make that for you guys, but... Other than that, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys have a great November. I hope you guys had a good October. And I'll see you guys in a vlog December 1st. Bye.